Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm bringing you another episode of Call of Duty Academy Level Beginner. And in today's episode, it's going to be a little bit of a 2-in-1 due to the fact that I'm covering two game modes in the multiplayer aspects of the game in one episode. It, even then, it's going to be a bit of a short episode. I hope you still enjoy it. Now, the two game modes we're going to be covering today is Free For All and Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. Alright. So we're starting off with free for all. We're gonna start off with the rules. Rule number one, the max amount of players that can be playing in the match of free for all is eight. As in, you can only be playing eight people in this match, including you. You're playing against seven other people. Got it? This game is a, has a 10 minute time limit, and the objective of the game is to get to 30 kills first. You have to kill 30 people, you have to kill 30 times before the timer runs out, or before anyone else does. Or another way you could win is if you kill the most people after the timer runs out. Let's say after 10 minutes you have 28 kills and your uh, some other player has I don't know 27. You win due to the fact that well you had to make the most kills. This game mode, as the title suggests is everyone versus everyone. It's a free-for-all. It's no one, no team. My thoughts on this game mode is that it's really good for improving gun skill, map awareness, and it helps you predict enemy locations better. It helps you learn where the major choke points are at, where the major traffic areas, where major flank routes, sneaky plays, all those things are. I also think that this game is very fast-paced and somewhat hectic. The only rule, role, like role thing to play in this game is about, it's a player role. There's no objective. The objective is to kill, so players are probably the only role to play here. Now let's go on to Team Deathmatch. Now in this Team Deathmatch there are two teams and there's a max um, player count of six in each team. The objective of this game is to kill, to have a sum of your entire team, the entire team total kill to reach its kill limit okay I think I explained that wrong um, so this kill limit of a hundred in advanced warfare the objective of this game is for your entire team to accumulate a total of a hundred kills before the opposing team in other Call of Duty the kill limit was 75 and in advanced warfare it was 100 this game mode is also has a 10 minute time limit and you get 100 XP per kill in both Team Deathmatch and Free For All. That's about it for today. Oh, I, I forgot the, my thoughts on Team Deathmatch. So, again, like Free For All, it is good for improving gun skill, but unlike Free For All, it is really good for a learning ma mini map awareness, learning how to use some mini maps, learning how to use your team to kind of push or attack or do little things to basically to knock your enemy off guard. There's so many things to do as a team rather than you being alone. I personally enjoy TDM more than Free For All, but regardless, I don't enjoy any of the game modes. I'm more of an objective player. So Team Deathmatch and Free For All are not my cup of tea. Although I do play sometimes when I really want to improve my playing game. Anyway, that's it for today. Like I said, it's a short video today, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please um, leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And if you want, go ahead and check out the rest of my videos. I'll see you next time. Remember, <laughs> knowledge is half the battle, and you just won half the battle. Late.